Today we're joined by Jamie Cook on a large gravel pit just outside Reading. Now, a lot of you probably won't know Jamie. He hasn't really publicised any of his captures before. Um, and, but in the last few years when he specialised in carp fishing, he's caught quite a few big carp from some tricky venues. Um, you come from a bit of a special, specialist angling background, don't you, Jamie? Mm, yeah. Mainly big roach, um, tench and barbel. And this guy's caught two different three pound plus river roach which is a major feat in angling. And um, after achieving that, mate, I guess carp fishing must come relatively easy, or it certainly not, seems to. I'm not sure about that. But. So um, you've got one of the rigs here that you've used to great effect to catch some of these big carp. Um, can you sort of run us through it and tell us why and when you use it? Yeah, sure. I mean, it, essentially, it's a fairly simple bottom bait presentation. Um, from my point of view, as Dave mentioned, I fish quite low stop pits and, and when I get a bite it, I really need to know that I've got every chance of converting it to a fish yeah. on the bank. Um, so based on reliability it's a strong hook, it's a big sharp hook, yeah. um, strong components and, um, and hopefully it means that you can turn more fish around to uh, captures. So it's, it, you, it's a basically it's a sort of seven or eight inch long combi rig so it's, it's nothing sort of out of the ordinary but I can see from the hooking arrangement it's quite an aggressive looking setup. Um, you've got quite a long hair, it's generally very good for big carp, so mm. sort of tell us the thinking of you know, this hooking arrangement and, and the, the hair arrangement. Yeah, well I, um, a lot of, when I started carp fishing and moved across from the, the specimen side, I was fishing over big beds of bait with, with pop-up rigs, yeah. and, um, and one particular lake that I moved on to in the area here, um, a bit of a tougher lake, and found that, that everyone on the lake, as you wandered around, you'd see chod rigs in the butt rings. Yeah. Everyone was fishing kind of pop up presentations. It was quite a weedy lake, but I wanted something a bit different, and so I, I essentially developed this. It's nothing out of the ordinary. Mm. Yeah, so you've got like long hair, shrink tube on the on the end of the curve shanks there. So it's it's not always necessary that shrink tube, is it? But it, like you say, it adds degree of confidence. Yeah, I mean, it generally from, helps to prick them. Yeah, from my side of things, I, I fished it with and without the shrink tube, yeah. um, and and this is kind of the the basic rig as I would start off with. Yeah. I mean, I tailor that. Uh, in certain situations, you might have a, a shorter hook link. Um, if I'm fishing over, a, I mean, that's a curve shank there, in a size five. If I'm fishing over a, a harder bottom, I I may change that to a D7 because it's obviously got the beak point, um, just to save you running the risk of the the point blunting, for example. Yeah, so it's sort of straight point over gravel is slightly more susceptible to damage, maybe. Yeah, I think points. we've I, I yeah. think we've all found it where you reel in and you've you've maybe had fish in the area or felt that you'd have a chance and and the point might be slightly beat where it's um or bad over yeah, sorry where it's, it's dulled slightly where the yeah. fish have been in the area. Mm. As I said, I, I generally fish over boilies and and I'm fishing particularly on certain pits like this, kind of smaller silty spots rather than the obvious big gravel yeah, areas that other yeah. people fish. And in that respect, um, yeah, I like to keep, keep things quite tight and I just feel so, that this so is... So the common rule is like, if you're fishing over a softer bottom, you use a straight point hook. Mm. If you're fishing over gravel or something harder, you generally use a curve, curve point hook. Or yeah, I, hook. I think that'd be a fair rule to take as a rule of thumb. Um, it just gives me that bit more confidence. As you mentioned, the shrink tubing, I have fished this without, and, um, yeah. and I have caught fish, but I just got a bit more confidence in it with the, um, with the shrink tubing there. Yeah, yeah. And you've got a little hinge above the shrink tubing. Yeah. Um, like I said, about seven or eight inches of strip tease. And I noticed you've got a little bit of a lead wire on there, just, just to sort of nail it all down. Yeah, I mean, that's, I used to use that when I was barbel fishing on the rivers, and I was using the, the micro braid yeah. um, before the sink braid came out, and you'd um, just use the little bit of the inner of the leg mm -hmm. core there, just just to weight it down. I mean, I could use putty there, but I think out of habit, I just tend to use the yeah. end of the leg core a bit more. Yeah, it looks very neat, mate. Excellent. So you certainly caught a few big fish on that rig. And it's, mm. like I say, it's a, it's a simple rig, but yeah. stick to the basics and it generally works. It's quite an easy rig to tailor as well. Yeah. Um, there's a small club that I was fishing a couple of years ago and, um, and I, I was getting worked over by a certain fish that I was trying to catch. And, um, and was able to go back a couple of weeks later, slightly refining this, bringing the hook link down and making sure I had a long hair and um, I managed to catch the fish that had kind of worked so me over in the past. You'd actually watch it eject your rig, didn't you, a couple of weeks before? Yeah, unfortunately I'd, um, I'd watched it show me that what I'd uh, done originally yeah, wasn't yeah. quite good enough. But, um, but yeah, with that in mind, you're able to kind of make the adjustments that you needed to. And yeah, the long hair seemed vital in that. And right. it's quite a big fish with a big mouth and the way that it fed meant that it moved around a bit and you really wanted it kind of picking up confidently yeah, in the um, yeah. baiting situation you were using. So you tailored it slightly and got your own back? Yeah, yeah, Brilliant. eventually got the own back. Okay, mate, that's excellent. Thanks for showing us that. No problem at all.